Today we have something you don't see very often. A 2023 Mini Cooper S Clubman and, to be honest, even I forgot that it's still offered in the US. The truth is, small cars in America are dying and there isn't many hatchbacks, especially premium hatchbacks left on the market. For those who are unfamiliar with Mini's lineup, the Clubman is a six-door, yes, you heard me right, six-door compact hatchback slash wagon and one of the biggest cars they offer. The 2023 model year marks a debut of limited unsold edition that you see here, which includes the sage green metallic paint, John Cooper Works Arrow Kit, unique wheels and brass design accents inside and out. So let's jump inside the Clubman and talk about the interior space. The interior of the Clubman cannot be mistaken with any other car. Typically for Mini, many elements have a rounded shape and it feels very refreshing to be in a cabin that doesn't feel generic. You can tell that designers put a lot of attention to detail to make the interior feel very special and kudos to them for that. The quality isn't necessarily top notch but you do get some premium flares, the material used inside are acceptable at this price point and everything is well put together. The technology has been basically carried over from BMW. The infotainment system is a previous iteration of iDrive, which means you can control it either via a touchscreen or a controller placed in the center console. There is a little bit of learning curve but once you get used to it, you will find it relatively easy to operate and a clean graphical user interface helps with that. Wireless Apple CarPlay is standard and if you opt for the iconic trim, you will also get a wireless charger among other features. You have a very simple, non-customizable digital cluster and with the iconic trim, you get a head-up display. The front seats are surprisingly comfortable for a compact hatch and if you're a taller individual like me, you will appreciate a low sitting position and extensible thigh support. Now moving to the back, it's still a mini so there isn't a ton of legroom in the second row but the headroom is pretty good and climate vents as well as two USB-C ports are always nice to see. Lastly, the trunk. Thanks to the boxy shape, the Clubman is very practical for its size, offering 17.5 cubic feet of space behind the second row and 47.9 cubic feet after folding the seats down. Alright, so that was the interior of the Mini Clubman. Let's take it on the road now and see how it drives. Minis have always been associated with a go-kart-like driving characteristics, so is that the case with the Clubman? Well, not really. The car is built on BMW's UKL2 platform, shared with cars like an X1, X2 or a 2 Series Grand Coupe, so we're off to a good start. What you get in the first place is a well-balanced chassis with great damping and reasonable driving dynamics. Due to its size, it's not as fun to drive as a smaller Tudor Cooper, however, the adaptive dampers, which stiffen up in sport mode, help eliminating some body roll and the Clubman retains a little bit of classic mini character, feeling nimble and being engaging to drive on curvy back roads. Now, the Cooper S variant that I tested is powered by BMW's B48, which means it's a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, making 189 horsepower and 207 pound-feet of torque available at just 1300 RPM. It's no secret that BMW makes one of the best turbo fours and the one in Clubman only proves that. The tuning is excellent, resulting in smooth power delivery and even though the car isn't crazy fast, it feels quicker than the numbers suggest. The all-wheel drive model that I tested gets an 8-speed conventional automatic that, again, typically for a BMW product has been tuned well and its logic in automatic mode is great. Fuel economy? During my week with the Clubman, I averaged 23 miles per gallon in the city, 36 on highway and 27 combined, which isn't very impressive, but acceptable. 
Now, when it comes to driver assist features, the Clubman comes standard with a forward collision warning with automatic braking, adaptive cruise control which, for some reason, seemed to be missing in my tester, lane departure warning, traffic sign recognition and rear parking sensors. The blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert is not available, which I think is a joke, especially considering most mainstream compact cars have it as standard. So, that was the Mini Clubman. With everything we covered, let's jump to the conclusion. The Mini Cooper S Clubman is a fun, stylish and a practical compact hatchback that is shockingly refined in every aspect. Despite the brand's perception, it feels like a legitimate entry-level luxury product that is expensive but, if you're looking for something that will distinguish you from the crowd and has a character that many cars no longer do, that's your only option. Pricing starts at $34,500 for a base, front-wheel drive Cooper S and an all-wheel drive is a $2100 option. My fully loaded tester in iconic trim with a special edition unsold package was priced at $44,400. If you wonder how I would spec out my Clubman, click the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later.